You've been hearing me hype up the Jimny for the longest time now as one of the best cars to buy off the showroom and turn into your little project car. But today is the day I'm going to find out if that is actually real, if the hype is real. This is a stage 2 Suzuki Jimny and I'm here to tell you all about it. I was very keen on figuring out if this K15B engine is any much better once you open it up. design, the Jimny was very well received when it comes to looks internationally. With its classic off-road-like stance and boxy shape, it's very easy to recognize. It also catches quite a lot of people's attention while you drive along, as well as getting a lot of already available international aftermarket parts. You want to change the way the grille looks, the headlights look, the fenders look. You can get everything done for the car. Heck, you can get a lift kit for the car. And this specific owner has gone for a couple of optional extras from the factory itself, like the body cladding on the side, these panels on the side that look like metal, and the grille in the front. He's also gone for a couple of aftermarket parts like the snorkel right there, which looks really purposeful. All in all, the looks of the Jimny are super tough and menacing. But the one thing that makes it nice and friendly, it's its dimensions. Now talking about the heart of the beast, this longitudinally mounted K15B engine pushes out 105 bhp and 134 Newton meters torque. But now with its stage 2 tune, it pushes 120 bhp and 155 Newton meters of torque, which is a decent power bump considering that there is no sort of forced induction into this engine. Now Maruti got a little bit of slack for not putting in the K15C engine, which is a bit more powerful and a bit more efficient in this Jimny car. But the K15B promises to get better low-end torque and feel much nicer since it is capable of getting a four-wheel drive system since it's longitudinally mounted. This specific Jimny comes with a five-speed manual and mechanically switchable ratios, four high, four low, and too high. The PS the resistance of this engine though and this build is this full system exhaust made by Bar Exhaust Systems. Now that the engine is longitudinally mounted, you can very nicely see the headers that are so well made right in front of you. So it makes it a good nice piece of decoration as well as bringing out performance in the car. This is a one and a half inch header system which sounds fantastic. Take a listen. Step inside the Jimny and it is a pretty basic Maruti Suzuki interior on the inside. You'll see quite a lot of switch gear that you've been very familiar with over the years with Maruti and yeah, the plastics are rather bare basic but it is pretty purposeful inside. Your passenger gets a place to hold and you also have a decent amount of space like between the chairs you've got quite a lot of cubby holes in between your uh, mechanical switch and your handbrake you've also got your window switches in the center console as well and the door card is pretty empty the only thing you get is a handle for you to hold on to a little tiny cubby hole that might hold some folios and most of the space is kept in the middle of the console however it is not as bare basic as an old car. You also get all the modernities like hill assist, uh, traction control, and you also get an uh, infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. All in all, it is a pretty bare basic interior, but as the owner has done, you can make it look pretty nice pretty easily. Now you might be wondering, all of this is cool, but how much does it actually cost to build a stage two Jimny? Well, I'm here to tell you exactly that. The header and exhaust system cost 44,000 rupees and the tune was 28,000 rupees. And there you have it, a stage 2 car. For better off-roading, the owner has fit a snorkel that cost 19,000 rupees and that is it. But how does all of this convert on the road? Let's find out. If it wasn't obvious 
by the way i am excited to drive this car uh, it is always a very nice experience to get uh, behind the wheel of the jimny it's rather small compact it's quite tall and its dimensions are rather boxy making it very easy to drive in the city it is not intimidating at all and you don't need to worry about any bumps that the road throws at you now there are a couple of things from this tuned car that are not uh, gone like the sticky gearbox the very uh, numb clutch and the body roll but that's because nothing has changed in this car for it to get better what has changed is the way this engine behaves now it is super ready and of course if you haven't heard it by the burble of the exhaust it is fantastic to hear in fact it is even very nice when it's just burbling around while you're pottering around in the city but open the taps and boy or oh boy does it scream this specific tune has a pops and bangs uh, setup that above 4000 rpm uh, it basically throws quite a lot of gunshots but uh, we are in traffic so i'm not going to be uh, blasting it even in the city while pottering through traffic it's not overbearingly loud that you might feel like you're uh, annoying other people but open the taps in it and the tune in this that is a pops and bangs tune that has been made in collaboration with auto helpers and peach tuning it pops and throws gunshots like if you're in a war zone and if you like that well this is the tune for you when it comes to the talk the delivery is a little bit better it was already pretty low in the rev range in its stock form but now that band has increased so it is a bit more ready all the way through the rev range which makes it a bit more peppy and easier to go through traffic it is only 15 bhp and 20 newton meters of torque that is increased but the feel of it the way the car behaves is very different and this is how i think it should come from factory super peppy and very nice to drive in the city or even when you want to stretch its legs now this specific way of people collaborating and developing tunes is something that's pretty new to us too and uh, i'm actually quite happy with this tune it is very very subtle however when you open the taps the car behaves very nicely given that this engine now is flowing as free as it can be uh, in its naturally aspirated form it is not giving me a very bad mileage figure i'm getting 7.7 kilometers to the liter and given its nature currently and its status that's not bad for a tuned car stage 2 naturally aspirated if you ask me now the best thing about the jimny is that it already has an existing international aftermarket scene already in place the two door jimny that was sold abroad and not in india well had quite a lot of things going for itself already uh, aesthetic kits turbocharging supercharging and quite a lot of suspension bits from everywhere japan europe and uh, every other country and region that uh, actually got the jimny did wonders in developing lots of parts for the jimny itself so you've got a very very intricate suspension lots of uh, forced induction kits uh, from europe from uh, australia from japan and all of that yes might be very expensive but it's still there the r&d is done and if you want to do it it can be done given that this car is meant for off roading the suspension options that you've got are endless fully adjustable uh, lift kits you've got everything in order for this to become an absolute machine off the road and that is something that many people will want to be doing to the car however if you just want to make it a fast car to go crazy on the streets this engine is also very potent this k15b uh, four cylinder is super robust and people abroad have already brought these power figures up to close to 200 bhp 
and even further so what i would like to see is what this thing is actually capable of all the way if you put a supercharger in it how the people in bullet cars uh, did in australia or a turbocharger that promises to bring a bump of 40 to 60% into a car like this now yes might not sound like a lot 140 bhp 150 bhp but bear in mind this comes with a 105 and it weighs just shy of 1.2 tons which is very little and uh, yeah this can be something that's actually pretty fast if you just want to live with something that is tiny and still have quite a lot of margin in terms of modding then i think this is the best new kid in the block after the polo and not that the polo had a very big uh, margin of playing with but this This can go places and places it will go. <laughs> If you need a million boxes to be ticked in order to buy the right car for you, well, the Jimny might just tick most of them with amazing ground clearance, compact dimensions, a pretty comfy interior and loads loads of fun and also it is a great platform to make into your own project car. Now what's left is finding out the ceiling of the Jimny. We know that abroad these things get supercharged and take out double the amount of horsepower. We know that there are lift kits, there are a lot of suspension bits that can be done to the car and there's so much more to be done to the engine. But we're going to have to wait to experience all of that and I for one I am super excited to see what is being done. with this specific build because the jimny is a fantastic proposition even for a newcomer and with that note that's it from my side thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one